and check out the view from the CTV Skywatch camera just about 45 minutes ago looking south on 13th Street North. Beautiful just last rays of sunshine there. We've got a little cloudy sky going on right now. Two degrees where we're at. We did hit four degrees at midnight, slid down to minus three at 9 a.m. and then back up to three degrees just about an hour ago and now we're sitting at two with a west wind. It's not really windy out there right now. 19 kilometers per hour. It has been gustier than that throughout the day but right now uh, winds have reduced so that's where we have that chance of seeing some flurries actually migrating across tonight. Temperatures all over southern Alberta though uh, reflecting uh, very healthy values uh, in advance of that low. Of course, we had that bit of a warm push of air that made its way through. But here's where we have the heavy snowfall warnings. See the Elk Valley area and then you go into West Kootenai, Slocan Lake, uh, north of that, almost into the Columbia area. And as I said to Jackie, all the southern area right from Vancouver on is going to have a weather event of some kind. Vancouver is having strong winds, heavy rains are going to settle in. And then from Whistler East is the snowfall. But in through the Elk Valley area and even West Kootenai and East Kootenai, you're looking Looking at tomorrow with the temperature rising, it'll be snow tonight, but then tomorrow you'll have that precipitation in the form of rain, which is not good for the avalanche situation there either. So you see this flow of precipitation coming in off the uh, western uh, coast there and making its way inland. So the strong winds in Vancouver Island, wind warnings out there, and then on this side of the continental divide, you can see things kind of shred as they move across. It's not quite that dense cloud that you're seeing uh, to the west of the continental divide. And here we've got that band of low pressure that's moving in, already creating that snowfall and putting Elk Valley right in their sights for that snow tonight. Uh, 20 to 25 centimeters, not not uh, out of the extreme range of snow that you could maybe expect tonight to see, but certainly uh, you're going to have some of that rainfall in the mix as well tomorrow. So just be prepared for that snow tonight, leftover snow in the morning, and then in the afternoon hours when the temperature rises, turning to rain. On this side of the Continental Divide, though, tomorrow we'll actually hit 8 degrees for a daytime high, but then we'll lose the winds as we get into Thursday, and that's where we'll see the precipitation move over. We'll have a rain-snow combination in some areas, some flurries in other areas, and some light snow in other areas so it's kind of shredding as it comes across but it's a real mixed bag of precipitation but the heaviest amounts are going to be to the west of the continental divide down east we've got a low pressure center that's just making its way into the northern atlantic wraparound effect from that is creating some snow showers and strong winds through atlantic canada in through the maritimes a mixed bag of some flurries and a sun and cloud mix we've got another system that's moving through the eastern prairie so we've got snow in winnipeg we've got some snowfall in regina and saskatoon as i said rain on the coast and we had some sunny breaks through the northern sectors through Whitehorse and Yellowknife this afternoon, but chilly temperatures, especially Yellowknife there. East Kootenai, you're looking at two to four centimeters of snow tonight, then some morning snow and then afternoon rain showers when your temperature hits three degrees. For the Crow's Nest Pass, partly cloudy tonight, down to minus six. Cloudy with light snow tomorrow. You could see five centimeters near the BC border. Medicine Hat, chance of flurries tonight. Cloudy tomorrow with a chance of flurries, six degrees for a daytime high for you. And here in Lethbridge, minus five tonight, all the way up to eight degrees tomorrow but it'll be windy and that'll be our warmest day in the five day forecast and you see the temperature really look at the hit between between uh, Wednesday and Thursday and that's when we have that chance of seeing some light snow as we lose the winds and that snowfall migrates but we're not talking huge amounts nothing compared to what they're going to get in BC and then things start to pull out Friday is a mix of some flurry activity and then we look at a little bit of clearing but Sunday we could see another band of snow moving across now if you're feeding dog treats and we do with Chloe we give her treats in between meals but we make sure they're made out of just vegetable and they come from the veterinarian so they're very low calorie check the calorie count for your dog's treats you might be uh, adding to his or her weight gain without even realizing thinking you're doing them a favor and a lot of them have fillers so be aware of that check with your veterinarian and that's our focus on safety message for this week have a good evening everyone